What's going on, Ramshinators? It's me, Ramshi. Today we're talking about the making of Topo Topanga. I was feeling kind of depressed. I was feeling a little down, feeling under the weather, as I often do. Not feeling so, so great. I had worked on music all year, gotten some stuff kind of ready, and I sent it to a few people to see what they thought, and the reaction wasn't that great. I basically made stuff that sucked, which hurt, but the, the truth often does. And I was laying there at night, being like, why? Why do I suck? And then I thought, you know what? I could probably make something better than that right now. And I pulled up my little laptop and then I fired up a little beat and a couple chords just to be like, fuck you. <laughs> and uh, so I did that. And then a couple days later, I gathered up all the synths in the house, brought them upstairs to my room and I started to go to war. <laughs> and then I, I put all the sounds I came up with on my stories and then you guys helped me pick which sounds was a good sounds to use. From there, I started writing lyrics, none of which made it to the final cut. These lyrics were sexy, they were sensual, they were, they were amazing. They, they touched on just the levels in, inside of me that no one's ever touched, but I couldn't quite sing them well enough, so they didn't make it. See, a lot of the time I have great ideas, ideas that I think are good that I just can't pull off. I can't do them because I like female singing and not male singing. So everything I write is for a girl to sing, but the fact is I don't like talking to people that much. So what I did is then I started whispering into the track and I started going like, I started doing whispering and then it was going to be called I'm a Real Cool Tiger. And it was me whispering things about being a tiger in the jungle. I'm a real cool, real cool. That's the line that made it in. I'm a real cool, real cool. You can find it, it's, it's in there. You'll, you, if you've listened to the song and you listen to my voice, you'll know it's the same voice. You'll know it was me that whispered it. That used to be going through the entire song. It was me whispering about being a tiger. And I even bought a tiger mask. Well, it was supposed to be a picture. Fuck. When I bounced it with the whispering, I realized, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not being innovative. You're just whispering through your track. And I said to myself, I said, that's really dumb but use a little bit of it and then it'll be smart again. I also got really sick of just looping things. So for the kind of droney guitars in the background, I literally just sat there and played it for eight minutes because the song was originally eight minutes long. Eight entire minutes, just wasting my fucking life. You know what the funny part is, is that I got able to now, so all I'm doing is looping. Although I had tried to create something epic, ambient, beautiful, sensual, uh, tiger-based, lion-based, animalistic, it really kind of just came out sounding like um, video game music and I was like, uh, okay, I guess I'll say I did that on purpose. I think combined with Aaron Corbett's video, it's actually quite, quite the haymaker for me and uh, I am happy with it. So yeah, anyways, that's a little bit about the making of Topa de Panga. If you watch this, thank you. And um, yeah, check it out. I don't know. See you later, Romshinators. Stay safe.